Connecting a Sennheiser G3 Lavalier system to a Zoom H4n is quite easy. Here's how you do it. Lavalier mics can be placed really close to your sound source. They don't need a mic stand and can be clipped to a top or stuck on the skin using a small patch of moleskin tape. But these mics pick up all body movement, so placement is key. Anyway, to connect the G3 to the H4n, you will need a Sennheiser transmitter and receiver, a Lavalier microphone to plug into the transmitter, a Sennheiser CL100 cable to plug into the H4n, and a Zoom H4n recorder with a power source. To start off, let's reset the receiver and transmitter and put everything back to factory settings, just to ensure that your recording won't give you any issues. Open both the battery compartments by pressing the two latches on each side of the plastic cover. Press the power button briefly to turn on the receiver and transmitter. Press the set button and scroll to the advanced menu. Scroll across to reset and press set. A dialog to confirm your choice will now be displayed. Select yes and press set. Your selection will then be stored. Everything now will be restored to factory settings. I always reset the system and start with a clean slate whenever I'm in a new unfamiliar setting because you just don't know what might interfere with your frequencies. After this is done, the next step is to scan for a free channel or frequency the receiver and transmitter could use and then to sync them both up to that frequency. To scan for frequencies, go to Menu, Easy Setup and click Set. Then select Scan New List. The scan will take around 55 seconds and will display the banks and free frequencies available for use. Select any bank that has the largest number of free channels. Press the set button to store the new channel. Now we need to sync up and match the frequency of the receiver and the transmitter so they can talk to each other. This is done by lining up the infrared panels. On the receiver, go to menu, scroll across to sync and press set. The check mark shows that the transmitter has been successfully synced to the receiver. The green RF light on the receiver further confirms the sync. We now need to connect the system up to the Zoom H4n, but first, we need to unlink its input so the audio coming into the Zoom H4n is recorded in mono and a combined stereo track. To do this, click on menu, scroll down to input, select 1-2 link and turn this feature off. Connect the Sennheiser CL100 cable to the G3 receiver's AF out port. Then connect the XLR to input one of the Zoom H4n. Press record on the H4n and speak into the microphone. Adjust input level one on the H4n and try keep this below minus six dB to allow enough headroom. Once you're happy with the level, press play to record. Once all connected, I change the incoming level from the G3 on the H4n using input 1 or 2 and then adjusting the record level of that input. If the signal seems weak, you may need to adjust the audio sensitivity settings on the G3 receiver and transmitter. On the receiver, this is called AF out and sensitivity on the transmitter. And that's how you connect a Sennheiser Lavalier system to a Zoom H4n. If you found this video useful, click subscribe and leave your comments down below and I'll see you very soon.